This is St. John, come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians, you just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you there was Shut up, shut up, shut up, it. listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think that just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research, pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. I used to be a cop, believe it or not, and farewell. I think we had it pretty good with training, equipment, and all. St. John, this is O'Brien. O'Brien, what do you got? Looting, which started I need to see you in person. It was everything. Oh, Jesus, O'Brien, just would you tell me what you found is ish? Shooting at anything that she looked alive or isn't she? I have Hold something on. to give you. O'Brien. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. God damn it. Dean, Iron Mike's looking for you. He said. Booze, man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds, and people who had federal clearance levels. Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deke, now. Good night. Deke, you there? I crafted you a couple of items if you want to swing by. Booze man? Thank you, brother. Uh, I'll be by. Information? What information, O'Brien? What the hell can you possibly have left to say that I would give a damn about? Hey, Deke. Can you stop by? Ricky, yeah, I'll bet you got a job for me. Uh, okay, I'll stop by. You can up. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The war on terror, global warming, none of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. So listen up. The war on terror was just smoke and mirrors. Started by good old Uncle Sam, using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists. Well, in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone's just lying their ass off. Is that about it? So, Jesus. Huh. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust who, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right. About your wife. How did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. 
The wife bugged out with a recon unit, east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No? Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. shit about any of that. Boozer? Booze man, come back. Yeah, Deke. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south, but the Santium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Deke, Iron Mike, he's, he's not too happy with us right now. Just listen to me, just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in a hundred miles. Said so there was a, a trail that went around Mount Teals. Mount I don't know, something. Tealson! Tealson, yeah, that's it. Tealson Pass. Yeah, well, why the hell you... Wait, Nero. Shit. You, you've talked to... She's alive? Sarah's alive? Deke? Okay, listen to me. O'Brien, they, uh... Boozer, he found her ID badge. Yeah, Boozer, uh, I, I think that she's alive. D, you never lost hope. You always knew. I never gave up. So what are you gonna do? I don't know, Boozer. I don't know, uh, but, oh my god, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I, well, I gotta find her. 
Shit, I, I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Addie need, need help putting up a shelf or some goddamn thing. Look, I'll, I'll see you when you get back to camp. See you, please, man. Deacon, where are you? Hey, Ricky. Um, I I got some shit I gotta take care of. Are you coming back? Am I coming back? What, what do you What do you mean? A loser told us. <laughs> loser told you. Okay, look. There's nothing to tell. There's no way over the Sanium Pass, you know that. Yes, yes, I'm coming back. Listen, like I said, he can out. Ah, uh, I know him. I used to be a cop, believe it or not. Farewell. I think we had it pretty good with training, equipment and all. But it got bad, fast. It wasn't just the looting, which... When I... It was everything. It was just going nuts, shooting at anything that looked even a little crazy. Not realizing that they were just as bad. I, uh... <sighs> All right, let's see what the old man's got to say. We were riding west along the old Belknap Road. Ran into a bunch of crazy assholes. Almost naked, all scarred up, like they took a knife to themselves. Joe said they were rippers. A cult over an Iron Butte called Rest in Peace. They worship the freaks. Can you believe that? They worship them, like they've been raptured into heaven. Deke, long time no see. Blair, how's it going? <laughs> 